Okay, so give her one a little shake there just to see that again. That's just something else to me. I just kind of mind you a butterfly or hummingbird or something. See, we got the pendulum locked up here just to see, focus on that pivot point of the oscillation. So now, right there, what I think we have going on is the, uh, the springs are storing the energy when it compresses and releasing the energy and storing the energy and releasing it back and forth. So, let's take a look at a couple different springs and see what happens. Uh, you know what? Well, first, let's, let's let this bad boy spin around. And So you got that spring going there, and it's storing energy in the other direction. Oscillator itself. This is this actually right here is what I what I think is a, the best setup with what I have because your your spring rate is affecting the timing, the harmonics of the oscillator. I I think this oscillator it it's experiencing different frequencies and. Uh, the spring is compressing, the pendulum swings and compresses the spring. If you look at it now, the way it's oscillating, this is going down when the pendulum is at the bottom and that's causing the front, I'm going to call that the front and this is the back, obviously, but uh, at the front, it's oscillating on the upswing on the front when the pendulum is at the bottom and the springs are compressing and storing the energy and releasing the energy at the right time so what I in such a manner, what I think is happening is those springs there are pumping the pendulum. Like when you're on swing and you're pumping the swing. I think the springs are taking that energy and pumping the pendulum. So as you can see, it's going pretty strong still. So we're just going to stop it and... Uh, some different springs in here. Okay, let's try just one spring. Let's do that first. This is just
just now we just got the one. Got the oscillation there. It takes longer to store up the energy and releases it over a longer time. Oscillation stops very shortly. Lucky if you got ten oscillations there before you got a dead stop. It's oscillating and oscillating slower and you can see the spring is compressing more with each stroke and the oscillations seem to be taking longer. It's at a, a slower speed and all we did was change this spring. So it's the, we're changing what I think we're, ha what we're doing is changing the, how much energy we're storing and the rate that we're storing it and releasing it. And you can see already the pendulum is quite slow. We'll get that thing going again. Just <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, see, so. You can see she's already slowing down considerably. Obviously, not as good as the other setup we we're running. Um, got this spring here. It's not an automotive spring. I think it was from a door. Um, those shocks that are at the top of a door that open and close them or help them help heavy doors. We'll take that, drop that down in the center there. So they're actually almost exactly the same height. Stiffer. Still, that's still that that butterfly, that little butterfly thing drowns off pretty quick. Lasts longer than the softer spring. That butterfly thing seems to seems to run longer with the stiffer spring. And see, got the stiffer spring. And it's not letting it compress as far. So what I think is happening is it's not letting it release as much energy up and down. And it's storing it, which is enabling you to release it in the back and forth motion a lot more times than when you're getting more vertical movement. I think the more ver the more vertical movement that ends up happening here seems to reduce the amount of time that the machine will run off of a given input. Which this is already, you can tell, it's a lot better than with that single spring. Taller, 
don't know if you can see the difference there. It's a little bit taller. It also has a inner spring, which is going to make that spring pretty stiff by itself. That's pretty good, but ran down. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> As you can see, it uh, was storing some energy and releasing it. Oscillations got uh got pretty good there, eh? So let's see. Now again, so we have lost some of our experiments. <laughs> seems to be we have lost part of the experiment. So, we might do I'm just missing one of these little things, the bottom one. I think we can get away with not 